Welcome back to the MCU, I'm Marius and this is my Cinematic Universe and then today we're here with my friend Jason Ibarra. Hey Marius, how you doing? It's been a while. I know, it's been a long time. And you've had this turtle end for a long time. I have. And I haven't seen it yet, I think it's been 10 years maybe? I had it built in 2011, so what is that now, like 12 years now? Something like 12 that? 12 years ago, wow. That wow. I built it and you haven't seen it and we've worked together like way back then, but we've still seen each other a couple times. Yeah, you always had the uh, ratchet. Yeah, the transformer van, uh -huh. yeah. Tell me about the van, how did this come to be? How, why did you end up building a turtle van? Well, I will say there are collectors that grew up watching the Ninja Turtles just like I did when I was a little kid. And uh, I watched them too, yeah. yeah. I had the, the motorcycle. Oh, I never had the motorcycle or the blimp. So I was like, oh, dude. You know, some people collect toys and they got the whole set of toys. Mm -hmm. I don't have that. <laughs> some people collect the comic books. I have one comic book that Kevin Eastman gave me. And then some people spend money on building a vehicle, which is me. How many other turtle vans are there? Are there other turtles? Before mine, there was two. There was a Dodge Caravan in Pennsylvania. She built that on her own. Painted it, sanded it, built everything on it. She was the one that had the first street legal one prior to me. There's another van that's not street legal. That's more uh, along the specs of the toy. Uh, that's in a museum in Chicago. And then there was mine. So mine, I made mine to be street legal so that I could drive it around town and whatnot. So uh, obviously I had to have a real car. So that was a VW bus. Now the VW bus just wasn't a uh, thought of what cheap car I could buy. But um, if you look at Kevin Eastman in the original comics, he drew the turtles driving around in a VW bus. Okay. Now that wasn't the turtle van, but they were driving around in a VW bus. So that was kind of my homage to him. Okay. Was buying the VW bus and retrofitting it. So I had three different people make the van parts for me. Uh, Ryan Senecal, he was an integral part of this. He's a um, special effects person in the movie industry, like, I, uh, like I'm in the movie industry. Uh, Ryan uh, designed the side door frame, which, which is all metal except for the front. Right. Uh, he designed the spoiler frame, which even goes down inside the car itself. Uh, the metal uh, bumper. With the smile. With the smile. And then, uh, yeah, he did that. And then I had a, a person do fiberglassing. So a second guy did the, the mold for the sewer cover and the windows. And then I had another gentleman, uh, he did this as a high school project. All right. It was like one of his senior projects to do something for shop or something like that. Uh -huh. So I gave him the design of the one block and he made this for shop class. Wow. That was like his senior project. And I had another fella who actually put everything together and paint it and do everything and how you see it now. So, and it's, it's withstood the, the test of time. Yeah. It's, it's 2023 right now and I've had it since 2011. So it's pretty good. Yeah. Everything's made to drive. What was the challenges to building this, to making it look and feel like the real Turtles van? I would have to say everything. Yeah. Everything that you see on it, I had to find somebody to uh, make it for me. Yeah. I had, I didn't have the know-how. I had designs, like I had the toy back in the back, which whenever I drew up the designs and I showed the other person, mm -hmm. I showed them the toy to make sure they knew what I was talking about. Oh, do you have the toy here? Yeah, I do. So here's the toy, missing the mirrors and some other little gadgets. Yeah. So one thing I couldn't uh, afford at the time was doing the racing uh, rear it's huge big wheels. wheel. Back. Yeah. Because that would have cost extra to uh -huh. um, cut away the... You, you said back then, is that something you're gonna do now? I am thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm also thinking about doing this. So oh. in the cartoon series, the roof actually opens up uh -huh. and I figure I could do something like a little camper style, little little thing that'll lock from the inside. Yeah, with the struts. And that would still be really cool, yeah. you know? People have made mention to a pizza shooter. Uh, the pizza shooter was not in the van, but I do think it would be a cool thing to have. Mm -hmm. um, if, the, if it did have a pizza shooter, it would have to be in the front. And right now, uh, I wouldn't have any room for it. Right. So my bumper is actually a steel beam. Okay. So somebody runs into me. It's it's a real bumper. Yeah, it's a better than a real bumper. Right. <laughs> the only thing I didn't design right was this is it, the sewer cover sticks out, which is fiberglass, sticks out more than the than the bumper. Okay. So if I do get in a crash, that'll be that'll go first. I'll go smash first. Yeah. yeah. But then the rest of the car will be safe. <laughs> when I made the design for the spoiler, I did not think about driving on the freeway or long cross country trips. Now, I, now, like I said before, I could drive it on the freeway. There yeah. would be no issues. I just have to hear the thumping of it on the roof all the time. And, but there are people that have made the spoiler smaller or even um, welded it each side to the roof of the vehicle right? so that they never have to take it off. Yeah, yeah. Me, if you've ever seen me at conventions or events, you've seen me taking this thing on and off all the time. Right, yeah. So yeah, but the door was really important to me. Yeah. A lot of people in the real world do not understand why my door does that. And to explain it to them is really hard because they don't get it. My best explanation for them is so if I see anybody I don't like on my right side, I can get them away. Mm -hmm. 
a lot faster. There's some foot soldiers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good match. And everything, all the stickers are custom. Yeah, everything was custom, actually custom off the actual decals from the toys. What I did was I had the guy uh, scan the sticker sheet. Mm -hmm. And so all these were made off of the sticker sheet decals that are actually from the, the toy van. Got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And the windows were important too. Mm -hmm. Even though I couldn't see out of them, it was important for me to have the uh, cartoonish like. The fit, the uh, yeah. So that's why I made everything on the van to be somewhat similar to this. How long did it take to build it? So it, even though I say I wanted it done right away, I was able to get the cost down by having the body shop do it on their time. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I took it into the shop around June of 2011 and it came out on Halloween of 2011. All right, that's not, that's not too long of a time for... And like I said, a lot of it was just putting it together and then the paint. Where can people see this van? Where can like, where do you take this van? Uh, my friend Manuel custom made the dash that you'll see in there. And now that I have a really pumping sound system, I like driving this thing everywhere. So okay. you'll probably see me all over LA driving it. Usually it's at conventions, and events. So if you look at my Instagram, it's TMNT Van or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Van on Facebook. And you don't only have the Turtles Van, you also have a full set of turtles. I have a full set of turtles, original uh, latex suits from the movies. And I do events with those. So like I'm uh, Vanilla Ice's turtle team. Right. I've been with Vanilla Ice since uh, 2013. And we travel around the world with them. Get to do some pretty amazing things. Very um, thankful that I've had all the experiences that I've had with the van and with Vanilla Ice. I actually got hired by Uber a couple years ago and, and they retrofitted the whole rear of the van. So everything you see inside the rear, uh, Uber did for me. Thank you, Uber. And uh, they actually took the van from LA to Miami for Halloween weekend. And you could actually call up the, the turtle van. It would come up there, a turtle van. Yeah. And you could get a, a ride on Halloween weekend back in that uh, two years ago. Right. In Miami. I have not seen any pictures of anybody in the Uber during that time. Right, so if you were one so of them. If you were one of them, please post it or comment that you were actually got the ride in Miami. Because I know that it got there. And I know that rides were given, but I have not seen anything on social media about it. So there you have it, the turtle's van. If you want to see more videos like this, just make sure to watch it, for, yeah. first of all. Follow, subscribe to his channel, mm -hmm. and let's, let's see some more good stuff. Let me know what you guys want to see. The turtle van or something else? Right. Probably something else. <laughs> Cowabunga. Dude.